All right, so I want to address the questions that I received in my email regarding the OBD2, which one to purchase to use for any one of my digital dashboard applications. I'm going to tell you right now, what I've been using currently is by Cobra. Now, this is $20 on Amazon. I used to have a faux seal, but I lost that. And uh, I tried to buy it again off of Amazon from them and even from their website. And they seem to be out at the current moment, but they'll be restocking here soon. I also purchased this one from Amazon. It says it's Wi-Fi, says it's an Elm 327. The only thing is it is version 1.5. And the only reason I know that is because I use it on my laptop when I'm testing my applications. And it feeds back the information on what version this is. And this is 1.5, this is 2.2. And according to Elm Electronics, who creates the chip that's used in this and in this uh, OBD2, the chip, there is no version 1.5. It's only 1.3 or 2.2. Um, actually, I've seen there's a 1.4 and it actually worked before, uh, but that was a rare occasion, one that I found from China. But just wanna make sure you guys are aware if you're going to be buying an OBD2 scan tool to use on any one of my applications, the free ones or the paid ones, use a Cobra Wi-Fi based one. It's 20 bucks. Yeah, it's $7 more than this one. But guess what? You won't be wasting your money. It'll be the proper one that you need. And it's going to help you use those applications. And I believe it's the same for Dash Command and any other digital dashboard app in the App Store. Uh, but this $13 one, it was not worth the, the money because it does not work whatsoever it'll let you connect to the wi-fi it'll let you show you know you'll get your little lights on here showing that it's operating and that it's actually getting feedback back to the the phone device or your laptop if you're using it with the laptop like i do for testing um but it's no good so if i if, if i'm gonna recommend one you can go on amazon look up cobra wi-fi uh based elm 327 and this is the only one besides full seal that works perfectly with my applications so for you guys saying my apps don't work i bought an obd2 scan tool your app's not working on my my phone it's not working on my ipad it's because you bought a cheap china one and all they're doing is is duplicating these platforms and um, they're not putting in the proper uh, firmware on their devices um, I use the actual standard that is used from the Society of Automotive Engineers, and that is J1939, uh, or 69, I'm sorry, which is the proper, um, well, not, not to say proper, it's used with every single automotive manufacturer for their systems that they have. So basically, mine has the same protocols as Ford, as Mazda, as Toyota, you name it. So if you're going to choose an OBD2, I tell you Cobra or Full Seal. Those are the only two um, OBD2s that I've used um, that actually work well with my applications. And these China-made ones that are dirt cheap, you might find them for 9 bucks, 13 bucks, whatever it is. Those are no good. Ask the seller what is the version on there. If they tell you 1.5, 1.6, do not buy because those are not going to work with my applications whatsoever. All right. Thank you for watching this video. If you got any questions, concerns, uh, or you're looking forward to uh, seeing some new interfaces on any one of my digital dashboard apps, reach out to me at eric at empireappdesigns.com and I'll be able to, you know, give you some feedback and let you know what's coming up next.